and welcome to Fairyland Cottage. Thank you for joining me this week. I'm going to show you a few plastic alternatives in personal care. Um, these are very low waste and very minimal and very simple natural ingredients. So I really hope you like them, so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna talk about is toothbrush and toothpaste. We use so many toothbrushes in our lifetime. They're always made of plastic and they just end up on landfills. So the alternative to that is a bamboo toothbrush, which obviously you can just put back into the earth when you're finished. These bristles are recyclable. It isn't the perfect solution, obviously, because there's still a little bit of plastic on them, but it is much less than the plastic toothbrush. With the toothpaste, you'll see so many toothpastes out there that use coconut and bicarb of soda, and this is a really simple recipe, but bicarb of soda can be, for some people, way too um, harsh on their gums, and it can make your gums bleed. So a much gentler alternative, which is just as effective, is arrowroot powder. It's a two to one ratio of arrowroot to coconut oil, and then I just add a few little drops of peppermint oil to give it a little bit of a fresh kind of feeling. What you do is you just take a little bit out on a little spoon, like so, and then pop it onto your toothbrush and off you go. I have found this very easy to make, um, very cheap as well, and once you have a jar, it is going to last you for a long, long time. Next one I'm gonna talk about is deodorant. Now, I know, I live in Ireland, and potatoes are a staple here of our diet. Ask any Irish person. But actually, the potato is really good to use as a deodorant. Now, I know it sounds really, really strange, but I've used lots of, um, you can use a bit of coconut oil as a deodorant, but I found that the coconut oil, it just gets on your clothes, the grease gets on your clothes, so that's not really the best thing. Baking soda is another one that people use, but again, baking soda can be really harsh on some people's skin. But the potato, all you have to do is you give it a slice and then take the slice and just use it under your arm. And there's a, there's a characteristic of potato that actually stops all the bad odor coming on under your armpits. Now, next thing is just pop the potato into a jar it will stay nice and fresh for the next day. And I promise you, this absolutely works. Next is soap. There's always local crafts people who will make soap and you can get really natural ingredients also in soap to keep it gentle on your skin. So soap is a fantastic way of reducing your plastic and keeping things simple and the soap will last, usually last me a lot longer than a shower gel would have. Next is moisturizer for your body. Very simple, coconut oil. The best moisturizer in the world. Very little, goes a long way. You buy it in glass containers, very, very simple. And if you want to, you can add another few drops of essential oil if you like a particular smell. Next is face moisturizer. I have not found anything better than rosehip oil. It is really, really good, even if you have very, very sensitive skin. And this has been the one product that I have noticed such a huge difference in the quality of my skin and the texture of my skin. The other thing about rosehip oil is that you only need a tiny amount. So very little goes a really long way. So it will last you a long time and save you again from all the plastic containers. And it is completely not really natural. All that's in it is rosehip oil. There is nothing else. Some people do use coconut oil as a moisturizer for their face. I find it oily sometimes and bring you out in spots. Rosehip oil is not oily at all. It soaks into your skin really, really easily. Um, and I think you'll really, really like it. Next is makeup remover. Now, this is evening primrose oil. The reason why I use evening primrose oil for taking off makeup, again, you could just use some olive oil, which you can get from your kitchen. Evening primrose oil is the most gentlest oil that you can have for your skin. 
It won't break you out at all. It is so, so gentle. Again, you can buy it in bulk in these nice glass bottles and you just put it all over your face with your fingers and then you can take it off with a just warm, damp cloth. Very, very simple and will even work with um, mascara and everything. It is so, so good. So you don't need to be buying all those makeup remover wipes or makeup remover plastic tubs. This will do the trick. You can also use coconut oil. So coconut oil can be used also for taking off makeup, but people with sensitive skin won't. Coconut oil will be too um, heavy for them. That is all the very natural, simple, alternatives to buying a lot of products to buying plastic you can do a lot of them you make them yourself so it's very very low waste and also kind to the environment that's it for this week i really hope you enjoyed this type of video subscribe if you want to see more simple living and healthy recipes give it a thumbs up if you like this video it really helps me a lot and i will see you next week for another video bye for now